From steamy limo hookups and bedroom spankings to being hot and bothered by Nick Cage's dreamy eyes and face-off, some celebs aren't shy at all about revealing their most intimate, dirtiest secrets. For years, the press controlled the narrative of Prince Harry's romantic exploits as he adhered to the unofficial motto of the British royal family, never complain, never explain. But when Harry stepped down as a working royal, he was finally able to speak for himself. And one of the stories the prince decided to share was how he lost his virginity. In his 2023 memoir, Spare, Harry recounted the awkward experience, writing, She liked horses quite a lot and treated me not unlike a young stallion. Among the many things about it that were wrong, it happened in a grassy field behind a busy pub. He also revealed that the woman was older than him. Soon, a former horse groomer named Sasha Walpole stepped forward to out herself as the woman in question. While commenting on her brief hookup with the prince, she told the son, I found it quite funny. It made no difference that it was Harry at all. We were two friends, and for me, I still see him as Harry. I still see him as a friend that I used to hang out with down the pub. Kelly Ripa and her husband, Mark Consuelos, are one of those celebrity couples who share a lot about their love lives. And when they talk about what goes on in their bedroom, they often do it in front of a morning television audience. Our show is super irreverent. It is very much yeah. in the moment. We don't have script writers. It's improv. So when Ripa published a memoir, her longtime fans had to know that it would include an intimate bedroom story or two. In her 2022 book, Live Wire, Long-Winded Short Stories, Ripa recalled how she lost consciousness while having sex and woke up in the ER. She learned that two ovarian cysts had caused her to black out. Ripa then added that her husband seemed more concerned about snacking than the fact that her cysts had ruptured. She wrote, there he is happily munching on the saltines now and ordering a second apple juice. Mark could be at a movie or a spa. Ripa was also horrified that her hubby had dressed her in high heels, a pair of his workout pants, and a leotard. She wrote, It's still baffling to me to this day that this is the best costume for the day that he could find for me. In a March 2023 episode of her Broad Ideas podcast, actor Rachel Bilson revealed that she didn't have an orgasm until she was 38 years old. Jezebel consulted Bilson's well-documented relationship history and determined that she was dating Barry actor Bill Hader around that time. Her previous exes included Adam Brody and Star Wars alum Hayden Christensen. But lest anyone think that she was elevating one ex and shading others, Bilson soon clarified her comments on an episode of The Vile Files. She told host Nick Vile, It has nothing to do with any partners, okay? It had to do with me knowing my body. She then added, nobody was involved other than myself. However, when Bilson was asked what she missed most about Hater, she said on her Broad Ideas podcast that it wasn't his sense of humor, but instead a certain appendage. Though she said this with a laugh, Bilson added, we can keep that. While Jennifer Coolidge was basking in all of the attention for her critically acclaimed role in The White Lotus, she regularly fielded questions about her past filmography. This included her role as Stifler's mom in American Pie, which helped popularize the term MILF. MILF! 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 In a 2022 interview with Variety, Coolidge revealed that playing a seductive housewife gave her love life a big boost. She joked to the outlet, And I got a lot of sexual action from... American Pie. However, when Ariana Grande interviewed her for Entertainment Weekly a few months later, Coolidge said that she jokingly exaggerated her number of romantic partners by placing it at 200. She confessed to Grande, but it did sort of open up the world to a much broader group of handsome men and younger men. In the same interview, Coolidge recounted one memorable encounter with a younger man. She recalled, The next morning I told him I needed to get a blow dry, so he was so young we called his mother to see where I could get a blow dry. It was so weird that happened on the phone, it was very clear that we were in the bed together. But seeing as the guy's mom knew just the right place, Coolidge's awkward morning resulted in a satisfying trip to the hair salon. In his 2000 memoir, The Rock Says, Dwayne Johnson wrote, I've always been attracted to older women, and they've often reciprocated. He shared some examples, including the 18-year-old high school senior named Maria, whom he dated at age 14. He was a virgin at the time, but convinced Maria that he was sexually experienced. He wrote, She believed that I had lost my virginity at the age of 10 and that women, not just girls, had been lining up ever since. According to Johnson, he and Maria decided to lose their virginities to each other. He wrote in his book, We wound up in a public park on a warm summer night with a big Hawaiian moon casting a spotlight on our desperate little dance. But the moonlight was soon obscured by a spotlight from two police officers in a patrol vehicle. The cops called Maria to the car and expressed concern for her safety. However, they left when she explained that the guy hiding under the illuminated blanket nearby was her boyfriend. 
When Megan Trainer spoke about her love life on her Working On It podcast in April 2023, she revealed that her husband, actor Daryl Sabara, has BDE. Trainer was talking about how painful sex is for her, but she explained that the issue was unrelated to her revelation about Sabara's anatomy. Well, I was told I have like something called vigimizel or something. Vig what? What's that? Vaginismus! Trainer then added that she, quote, thought that every woman walking around was always in pain during and after sex. Trainer was surprised when her doctor informed her that this is not the case. Her condition causes the muscles of the vagina to tightly clench when intercourse is initiated, which is why she was in so much agony. However, she was apparently so determined to get pregnant with her second child that she tried to power through the pain. The singer recalled on her podcast, I f***ing had to ice myself after. Trainer learned that her issue wasn't just physical but psychological as well. In an appearance on the High Low with M. Rada podcast, she explained to host Emily Ratajkowski, I think sex is really gonna hurt, apparently. She then added that the anticipation of pain will usually cause her to tense up. Some actors don't enjoy watching their significant other in a steamy sex scene with another star, but according to Joshua Jackson, his wife actor Jody Turner-Smith doesn't mind watching him pretend to get it on with other women. Jackson told Variety in 2023, The sex scenes themselves, Jody kind of enjoys them, actually. It's a weird thing where she's like a voyeur, so that works. If that's your thing, excellent. Turner Smith previously admitted this herself in an interview with Vanity Fair, revealing that she was a fan of Jackson's racier moments in the affair. She told the outlet, I can't wait to see my husband on screen again. I love to see him do stuff where he can continue to lean into the idea of him as the sex symbol that he is because he's a sex symbol. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, Matthew Perry shared some bleak revelations about his life. He revealed that he began drinking at a young age and once downed half a dozen beers to calm his nerves after a girl expressed an interest in hooking up. Because his attempt at making this happen ended in failure, Perry assumed he was impotent. He wrote, I failed to make the correlation between the booze and my private parts not working. Perry's belief about his body became an even more painful burden to bear when he met Trisha Lee Fisher, the half-sister of Star Wars actor Carrie Fisher. They began dating when Perry was 18. When Perry told Trisha about his issue, he felt like he was sharing a secret that would spell doom for their relationship. However, Trisha questioned the accuracy of her boyfriend's self-diagnosis and ultimately ended up becoming his first sexual partner. Perry jokingly wrote of the experience, sheer glory for two whole minutes. Unfortunately, Perry continued to struggle with feelings of insecurity, telling GQ that he ended many relationships because he was afraid that getting dumped would send him on a downward spiral. He confessed in his book, there's 10 women on the face of the planet that I would kill to be married to, who I've gone out with and broken up with. Fans of the Kardashian-Jenner family are used to hearing Kim and her sisters talk about their love lives. In a season two episode of their Hulu series, The Kardashians, Kim shared the story of how she ended up dating comedian Pete Davidson after they appeared together on Saturday Night Live. She used some erotic acronyms to explain why she wanted to hook up with Davidson, confessing, Heard about this BDE. I was just basically DTF. Kim and Davidson ended up hitting it off, and although their relationship was short-lived, it was more than just a casual fling. After they started dating, Kim shared another anecdote about Davidson on The Kardashians. This time, she regaled her family with the touching tale of how Kim's grandmother inspired the couple to partake in some hanky-panky at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Since Kim's grandmother was conveniently present to hear the story, the reality star confesses to her on the show, We were sitting in front of the fireplace just talking for hours, and I was like, my grandma told me that you really live life when you have sex in front of the fireplace. And so we had sex in front of the fireplace in honor of you. Kim then confessed that the tribute was a bit weird, but her grandmother just wanted her assurance that it didn't happen in the building's lobby. In the song S&M, Rihanna sings about enjoying some of the same activities that Anastasia Steele gets introduced to in the Fifty Shades of Grey movies, but for the multi-Grammy winner, the song's lyrics aren't just lip service. In a 2011 interview with Rolling Stone, Rihanna revealed that she has actually tried some of the methods to spice things up in the bedroom. The singer told the outlet, "...being submissive in the bedroom is really fun. I like to be spanked. Being tied up is fun. I like to keep it spontaneous." But while Rihanna might have an adventurous side when it comes to her love life, casual hookups don't really excite her. She told Vanity Fair in 2015, I don't want to wake up the next day feeling guilty. I'm a woman. I want to have sex, but what am I going to do? Just find the first random cute dude and then tomorrow I wake up feeling empty and hollow? 
Early on in their careers, the Jonas Brothers had to field a lot of questions about their sex lives. In a 2019 interview with Harper's Bazaar, Nick Jonas recalled what it was like to be constantly quizzed about his purity ring. He told the outlet, The question should have been, is it appropriate for people to talk about a 16-year-old's sex life? It's absolutely not. I don't necessarily like to talk about the purity ring. But the brothers became more comfortable broaching the topic of intimacy after they'd been adults for a bit. During a 2016 Reddit AMA, Joe Jonas even shared the story of how he lost his virginity to Twilight star Ashley Green. His anecdote also served as a PSA about using protection. Joe wrote on Reddit, I went to our drummer Jack's room, who was my roommate at the time, and I demolished his room looking for condoms, found them underneath his underwear drawer. When he came home, he thought somebody broke into his room because his whole room was demolished. When E.T. asked the singer about his decision to share something so intimate and personal, Joe was unapologetic. I'm not out to, like, hurt anybody, but I think ultimately, like, I'm, I'm just telling my stories of what I can say from my heart. After Tiffany Haddish got cast alongside Nicolas Cage in 2022's The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, the comedian realized that her first experience rehearsing scenes with her co-star wasn't going so well. To break the ice, Haddish told Cage that he had played a larger-than-life role in a memorable moment in her life. She'd felt conflicted about sharing her strange story with the actor, fearing that it might freak him out. But desperate times called for desperate measures. She recalled to Sam Sanders on NPR's It's Been a Minute podcast. You, you could tell he was getting irritated. But she assured Cage that his mood would improve if he just listened to her story. When Haddish was 17, she and a date found themselves in an empty theater watching the 1997 action flick Face Off, in which the faces of Cage and John Travolta are surgically swapped. It's like looking in a mirror, only not. Haddish and her date took advantage of the lack of fellow theatergoers and started to get frisky, she recalled on the podcast. As I was achieving a momentous moment that I had never experienced in my life, I opened my eyes, and the eyes of Nicolas Cage are looking into my eyes super big. So that was my first big O. Luckily, Haddish's decision to share this information with Cage paid off. She told Sanders that the Oscar winner laughed super hard. In her 2015 memoir, There Was a Little Girl, Brooke Shields delved deep into her toxic relationship with her mother, her romantic relationships, and the media's obsession with her virginity. Shields was still a virgin at age 22 and was in a serious relationship with actor Dean Cain. They had met while attending college in Princeton and were head over heels in love. Shields wrote in her memoir, He was incredibly and painfully patient with me regarding sex, but it felt as if mom was always lording over us. When Shields decided that she was ready to lose her virginity to Kane, her mother was drinking downstairs. Shields felt her parents' presence acutely and found herself guilt-ridden and in tears afterward. She also recalled how she jumped out of bed naked and took off running. The actor wrote, I have no idea where I was going, but it was probably to go sleep in another bed so my mother wouldn't find out. Kane chased her down and did his best to comfort her, but their relationship never recovered and ended soon after. In March 2023, Shields told people that she regretted the way she treated Kane. She also noted that she reached out to him many years later to offer an apology. Shields admitted to the outlet, He just was so loyal and loving and just so in love, and I did not make it easy. Kourtney Kardashian and her husband Travis Barker have readily shared TMI about their relationship. In one episode of The Kardashians, Kourtney told her mother Kris Jenner that she and Barker skip their jammies whenever their children are away for the night. Kourtney said on the show, Dude, this morning I did all the dishes completely butt naked. Naturally, when Kourtney took the Vanity Fair lie detector test in 2022, her sister Chloe asked her a number of risque questions about her personal life. One of them was whether Kourtney and Barker had ever gotten caught hooking up somewhere outside of their home. Courtney said she had, which caused her sister to respond. Do you regret doing that? Nope. Good for you. Furthermore, Courtney confessed to having another adventurous sexual encounter with Parker while they were wearing their 2021 Halloween costumes. Their looks were inspired by Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette's true romance characters, Clarence and Alabama. Another big revelation Courtney made about her and Barker's love life, her hubby apparently has a foot fetish. Before 2022's slap heard around the world, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's Oscars claim to fame was more spicy than sordid. In an interview with Shape, Jada explained why her makeup didn't look as flawless as it could have at the 2009 Academy Awards, revealing that her husband was to blame. She told the outlet, In a limo on the way to the Academy Awards this year, Will started looking at me in this way that drives me wild. We started kissing passionately, and the next thing I knew, well, let's just say we missed the red carpet, and I ended up with almost no makeup on. 
The Smiths are apparently fond of getting it on inside a vehicle. While sharing her advice for spouses looking to liven up their marriages, Jada suggested to Red Book that same year that keeping that spark alive can start with a drive. She told the outlet, pull over on the side of the road. And her suggestions for spicing up a marriage didn't stop there. The actor then added, does he have access to his office? Have a fantasy date. Be his secretary. Be sneaky. Your girlfriend's house at a party. The bathroom. A guest bedroom. Just switch it up.